This is Edison High. Of course, to me, so is this. The food stinks. We've got a vice principal you don't want to mess with. And the school paper's run by a couple of real sick puppies. It was all pretty boring until this new girl arrived, and I thought, oh, come on, look at her. You know what I thought. Anyway, she said we should do our own paper to show what Edison High is really like. So now I'm stuck sharing the newspaper office with these two idiots, my best friends, Chris and Mags, and the new girl, Emily. Oh, and by the way, the guy drawing the pictures? That's me. Soothing body. real life. It's high school. It's time. <gasps> no, you got the wrong man. That's Go. what they all say. <laughs> you can't do this to me. Somebody get me a lawyer. No, please. <laughs> Cody, she's definitely looking at me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask Kim Rotella to the dance. Think I stand a chance? Well... <laughs> Chris, doesn't she already have a date? He uh, broke his ankle. He rollerbladed into a Boy Scout troop. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, he'll be okay in a few weeks, and the Boy Scouts got a couple of first aid badges. So should I ask her out? Let's see. Uh, dance is tomorrow. Kim's got no date. You will have the desperation factor going for you. <laughs> Forget it. I can't take the rejection. Look, you've been agonizing over this for three days. Do you want to go out with this girl? Be strong, be confident, do whatever it takes to get her to say yes. You really think that'll work? Sure. She's desperate. Hi, Cody. Where's Chris going? To strike out with Kim Rotella. So, uh, what's up with you? Well, I've just been made head of the decorating committee for the dance. And I need a theme. Any suggestions? Humiliation? Thanks, that's very helpful. Just giving you the guy's point of view. <laughs> you mean your point of view. Cody can't dance. No, wait. Let's just say it's not what I do best. Let's just say he stinks. Well, well, I did what you said. I was strong. I was confident. I was magnificent. Yeah. She shot you down, huh? No, she said yes. I've got a date for the dance. That's great. And so do you, with her friend. You're going to the dance, Cody. Isn't that great? <laughs> you make you dance, tough guy. Never! How could you do this to me? I only did what you said. Do whatever it takes, remember? She wouldn't go out with me unless I got a date for a friend, Alice. Hey, you should be thanking me. I just got you a date with a major bean. Yeah? Have you actually seen this girl? No. But she's got to be gorgeous. Good-looking girls always travel together. It's a union thing. No. No. Yes! Do you know this girl? You're talking schnauzer. Good-looking girl always hangs out with a real loser. Heightens the contrast. Gentlemen, there seems to be a lot of chattering going on here. How's that experiment progressing? Uh, great, Mr. Fishbomb. Just great. We've been very busy uh, doing... Uh, Plotting the cooling curve of a superheated solution. <laughs> Good. What is this stuff? Espresso. 
my personal blend. Look, it doesn't matter what the girl looks like. I'm not going to the dance just so people can laugh at me. What's the big problem? You got a whole date. Teach him how to dance. How bad can he be? Oh, he's truly pathetic. <laughs> but I am a brilliant teacher. Since when? Since I taught those Boy Scouts how to take out a guy in rollerblades. <laughs> Look, just give me one chance. If I can't teach you how to dance, then I will personally get you off the hook with Alice. Trust me. Do you know what would make me so happy, Flash? Move your hand an inch lower, and it's coming off. You insult me. You love it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Actually, I was wondering if you'd like to accompany me to the dance, hmm? Just say no, Flash, like every other girl in school. I meant as a show of student voice solidarity. Love to, boss, but uh, I have to work the dance. Your orders. You wanted me to check out that rumor about Morgan? Hmm. What rumor? I hear she's going strapless. <laughs> really? Are you sure? Excuse me. Okay, if this oink fest is over, we've got work to do. Victor, your time's up. Martin said we have to share the office, but not at the same time. Bye. That's the big hurry. Hiding something. It's all right, Flash. It's not good for my allergies to hang out with this riffraff. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Use it when you're through with the office. I have a highly developed sense of smell. <laughs> <laughs> He is such a sucker. Ew. Victor was using my boombox again. <sighs> okay. I'm ready. To do what? I'm teaching him. I happen to be a great dancer. I see. And how long have you been delusional? Delusional? Excuse me, Miss Abernathy, but you were dying to dance with me at the seventh grade prom. Until I danced with you at the seventh grade prom. Oh, now, now, if you can't play nice, I'm gonna have to separate you kids. Okay, who do you want to teach you how to dance? Mags. <laughs> I am cut to the quick. Me, your best friend. I'm his best friend, too. Welcome to You're Screwed, the game show that puts you in situations where you're screwed no matter what you do. Choose curtain number one, your best friend. Curtain number two, your other best friend. Or behind curtain number three. Nice cow. Thanks. I got it from the cafeteria lady. The dairy council sent them over to boost milk sales. Them? They're more? Oh, yeah. About 30 to 40 head. Those milk people don't fool around. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Um, Emily, wh where do you want this? Uh, Mr. Fishbaum said we could keep it in the science lab. What kind of theme can I come up with using cows in the Empire State Building? Cows on vacation? The cow that ate New York. <laughs> How to succeed in business without having a cow. Great. Thanks. <laughs> So, how are the uh, dancing lessons coming? Well, we were just about to get started. Can't wait. I'm not such a bad dancer. Maybe I could help. Uh, you don't want to get involved. This guy's completely hopeless. I'm sure you're not that bad. Whoa. Rumba? 